Hi guys and welcome back to how to maximize. For today's video, I will show you how to add a countdown timer to Shopify. To start this tutorial, open your internet browser over at your PC, laptop or Mac. And then first is you will go to the website named elfsite.com. Once you are in Elfsite, all you have to do this time is log in. But before that, click on widgets on the upper left. Once you're here, you're going to scroll down and under e-commerce, you're going to look for countdown timer. Once you find it, tap on it. In here, tap on create widget button on the upper right. It's colored black. Once you're here, you're going to start or choosing a template that you want to use so far. Choose from any of the available templates over at elfsite.com. Go ahead and choose whichever you like. This could be anything that's related to your brand. Once you are satisfied with the template, click on the button below. In here, you can also change the type, the remaining time period, and setting the time in whenever. Now count, counter restart settings and position. You can also change the appearance by clicking on the appearance icon on the left side of the screen. There are many things that you can do to customize this timer depending on what you like or your aesthetics for your website should be. In here, just log into your Elf site account over at the internet browser. Once you are here, you will now be redirected and then click on Apply. It's a button in the upper right. Now your widget is successfully saved. Once you're here, click on Next. In here, you might need to subscribe to Elfsite Pro in case you have made too many widgets over at their website. In here, you will now add the widget to your website by copying the HTML code. Now go to your Shopify account. In here, click on Online Store. Once you're in Online Store, go to Themes. In here, you will look for your current theme used and then click on the three dots. Once you do that, click on Edit Code on the pop-up. Once the pop-up appears, this time all you need to do is you are going to change the code over at theme.liquid. Click on the first tab, this one over here. Once you are here, you will need to scroll down at the very bottom. Once you are here already on a new column or, an, or on a new row, all you have to do this time is change this one and delete. Highlight all these parts. You can copy the same setup that I have over at my screen and then you will delete them and then paste the code that we just copied from elfsite.com. In here, just copy whatever it is that I'm writing so that you won't be mistaken. Once you are satisfied, click on save button on the upper right. And that should be it. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel.